So we're asked to determine the moment of the force about point O, which is this one down the bottom here. We can neglect the thickness of the member. We're told to assume that the force applied is 60, so that's this one here. And we're using a sign convention to give the final answer. So these are the different options um, to choose from. And anti-clockwise is going to be the positive direction for those. So the first thing we need to do is select the equation that we want to apply. And we're being asked here to find the resultant moment. So the equation is that the sum of the moments about point O has to be equal to the resultant moment about point O. And this is the one that we're trying to determine. Remember that we're going to apply our sign convention so that we get the correct sign out for our answer. And that means that anti-clockwise is the positive direction. So what we're going to need to do is to split up this force into its horizontal and vertical component. Um, the reason we're going to do that is because we're given all these dimensions uh, in horizontal uh, and vertical directions. So it's going to make our life a lot easier. So we're going to split it up. Let's start with working on the vertical part of this force. So the size of it is going to be 60. We've got a 60 degree angle in here and we want the opposite side of the triangle. So it's going to be 60 sine 60 for this vertical part. And then we need to multiply it by its line of action, uh, sorry, the distance from its line of action, which is this, all the way back to point O. So we want this full distance in here. So it's going to be 100 plus 100 plus we need the extra horizontal part in here. So we can find this um, pretty easily. We know the hypotenuse of the triangle formed in here is 200 and we've got a 45 degree angle. So if we want the horizontal side, it's touching here, so it's gonna be the cos side. So 200 cos 45. And this works out to 141.4 millimeters. So that means that the total length is gonna be 100 plus this plus this. So that's gonna work out to 341.4. So let's go ahead and pop that in here. Right, so this is for the vertical part multiplied by its distance back to point O. And thinking about the direction, this is going to try and rotate us clockwise about point O. So that means it's going to go in as negative. All right, so now we need to focus on the horizontal part here. So the size of that force is going to be 60 cos 60. All right, the cos component of this triangle. And then the distance, it's from its line of action. Okay, which is this line of action here, back to point O. So we're looking for this distance in here. Now we haven't been given it, but it's basically just going to be the length of this triangle um, side. And because this is a 45 degree triangle, I'd expect this side to be equal to this side. And we worked out before it was 141.4. All right, so this is going to go in over here. Okay, so that's the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. And then in terms of the direction, this horizontal force is going to try and push us anti-clockwise about point O. So that means it's going to go in as positive. And all this is equal to the resultant moment that we're trying to calculate. So if you put this into your calculator, it's going to come out as negative 13498. Now the units for it, we had our force in newtons and we had our distances all in millimeters. So a moment is a force times a distance, so it's gonna be newtons times millimeters. Now if we go back over here, all the answers are in newton meters. So we're gonna to need to perform a conversion. To go from millimeters into meters, we times by 10 to the negative three. And that means we get about 13.5 uh, newton meters. Also, we've got a negative. This is aligning with our sign convention. It means it's in the negative direction, which is clockwise. But that's not to worry because we just need to take this over here, which is already in the sign convention stuff. And it just means that A is going to be the answer. So that's all there is there.